in this video oh I'm sorry it's good to see you all here uh, in this video we are going to uh, put in symbols for our working light fixtures our, our lamps we're gonna put in what are called practical symbols and we're also gonna put in we're gonna put in work lights and um, and some running lights so let's 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 get going so these uh, it's kind of hard to tell in this plot, but right here and right here, these are um, lamps. Let's see if what we uh, if it shows on here. All right. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it, it, it's all in. Um, so we have a lamp right here, and we have a lamp right there. That 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 lampshade looks a little funky, but let's we're just gonna kind of let that be right now so I'm gonna come back to our top view here we are and what we're gonna do is we need to generally speaking the the scenic designer specs what fixtures what you know architectural fixtures we're gonna use and then it's as a lighting designer it's your job to get power to it so we need to have that on the light plot so our electricians know to run to run power it's pretty simple the the we're gonna go to our symbols the symbol for a practical is a triangle and we're gonna look under miscellaneous items and here we go practical we're gonna double click on that I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put it right here and that has our um, that has our dimmer and channel on it and then I'm going to come over here. We're going to do one for the other one. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit so it's out of the way here. There we are. So we are going to put our, so we have them in, in the plot. And these, I believe they are sitting on the, uh, they're sitting on the ground right now because that's essentially where they are. So what we're going to do for a position is I'm going to, we're going to call the position for these, we're going to call it deck. Okay, so position D E C K. Okay, and we are going to label this. We're going to number this one as unit number one, and this one's going to be unit number two. Uh, they are both going to be uh, no color. Uh, stands to reason. Um, we are going to say NC for no color. Okay, and the focus point or the focus, what we're going to do for purpose and focus is what we will do is type in S or um, SPL for special. That's, yeah, yeah, special S, or practical. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Practical. P R A C. There we go. And we're going to worry about the circuit and the uh, dimmer and the channel later. So we have those in. There we are. They're going to get power now, and everybody's going to be happy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put on we're going to put on put in some some work lights. Now we could use these lights out front, but once we get the gel in, we start you know if we run it for rehearsals, we start burning gel, and that's expensive. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hang up. Most theaters have PAR 64s or PAR, par cans or some floodlight that you can use. Here at Northwest, we have a dearth of dearth of, of PAR lights. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to we're going to put five of them on front of house, and um, what I'm going to do is we're going to focus them on F, G, H, and I. We're going to tell Vectorworks that's where we're going to focus them, but what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of focus them evenly across the stage. So let's uh, let's get in here and let's find our fixture. Okay, our we're looking for we're going to look under uh, let's see wash fixtures, and here we have is a par 64 wide flood. Double click on that, and we're just going to put. We're going to put one in and now let, let's uh, let's do some work on it. So uh, the color is going to be no color, NC. Uh, the uh, 
focus is going to be WRK for work lights. And for now, that's what we're going to leave it at. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of copy this over here. We're going to stick one in the center. Oh, we got to do that. And then I'm going to grab these two, copy them again, and drag them over. So now we have our, our work lights in here. I'm going to quick come down and do move our move like we did in the last video. Kind of get this, get some of this stuff out of the way. There we go. Remember, oh, that's a little close. So let's do that. There we go. And again, we want to wait till it shows a slashy. And we move this guy. And there we go. So we have our front of house work lights in. Usually what we want to do is we want to have some, some lights over the stage. So what I'm going to do, this is a pretty small set. So those front, those, those, those front lights are going to do pretty well. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in three sort of backlight par cans. You can never have too much, you can never have too much work light. So busy. Um, sorry about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I think we're going to put in uh, one, two, three. Let's put in four across the back. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to I'm going to cheat just a little bit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to slide this one over and copy it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a par okay and we're gonna change that right there okay we have to change a couple things so we're gonna do no color okay no color there we are and uh, did, oh I put that in focus good grief I'm so sorry we're gonna do work and then we're gonna come up here and do no color and see all right so what we're going to do is we're going to um, come along and just sort of we're going to drag it and we're going to put this one right about here we're going to squeeze one in the center here okay i'm going to slide these these out just a little bit just to give a little more room to focus okay and then we're going to put one right here about like that and then we're going to stick one right over here so now our our stage for rehearsals is going to be well lit and directors love a well lit rehearsal space we also have you know once these walls get up the light is going to be kind of trapped in in the stage so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put some uh work lights up and we're going to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to drag this. We'll put it out here. And then I'm going to drag, drag them down and put it right here. And I'm going to probably uh, bring it over here. And we're going to, we're going to kind of, this one can focus down. In fact, I'm going to probably rotate them just a little bit so they're, because there's really not any workable space, right? That's a pretty small space, so I'm just going to rotate it. So it's sort of like pointing down off this direction. I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, we're going to rotate. And we're just going to rotate it so it... We're going to rotate it around so it's almost... You know, so now we're, we're, we're lighting this offstage area. Now we're going to do the same thing. Um, I think I'm going to put another one. Uh, right up here okay so I'm gonna take this one because again this is where you might be doing your painting and, and, and you know any number of any number of things so oh, no I don't want that so again let's see if this is attached to third electric so yeah we're good there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select them and mirror and copy 
go around the center line. And here are our work lights. So uh, this is a this is a quickie in uh, this video. I showed you how to put in uh, practicals. Again, that's the, the the scene designer usually specifies what the lights are. As lighting designers and electricians, we need to get power to them so they can operate. And then we put in we put in work lights so the director has a nice bright workspace and for working during during shop time and we're not burning gels. So there we are. Um, I'll see you back soon.